Salam Waganoche, Isaiah Sabalalo, and I want to personally welcome you to another episode of Dink TV. Today we are in the beautiful community of Naples of Long Beach, California. When we walk around today, you are going to find that this community was actually inspired by Naples, Italy. And you'll find that from the architecture that we're going to see, the canals and some of the other things that we'll point out. But one other thing that I think is really important to point out is that when you walk around, you'll find that each home is distinctly unique. Not two are the same. A home that is a two minute walk from the water. And that makes no exception with this home. A beautiful Spanish Mediterranean home, four bedroom, three and a half bath on 2,500 square feet. And don't forget, you're watching Ding Cribs. Come on in, let's go. All right, so the first thing that I notice after I enter through this pop of color on the blue front door is it's open. It's a very open concept, and this is just the first of our two entertaining areas. And in this particular case, we're in the dining room. So one of the defining hallmarks of life on the island is community. And community is almost nothing without food. So here in the dining room table, we see room for what can comfortably be eight. And this is just a place where you gather, entertain, have a good time, and enjoy your community. And then right behind me, as you push out through the double French doors, another place to gather right here on the, on the front balcony that leads out to the front yard. And in our downstairs bathroom, we have a really nice pop of color with our blue wall, which complements the white vanity unit that's a standout feature that also offers extra cabinet space. So I know we just talked about casual dining, but when you step into the kitchen, it's hardly casual. First thing that you'll note is that you have a professional grade six burner gas oven stove, and then ample countertop space all throughout. When you come over to this side of the kitchen, you'll also notice stainless steel appliances all throughout between the fridge and the built-in microwave, more countertop space with ample cabinetry. If you are someone who can get down in the kitchen, this is what you need. This is where the magic happens. So as we come to the end of the kitchen, you'll find yet another place to gather where food at our breakfast nook. The beautiful thing about this is that it's right next to another large open window, which gives us a continued theme throughout the house of natural light, which we'll continue to point out as we go. And then as we kind of flow through to the secondary living space, you also notice the light hardwood floors all throughout the house. And yet it's not only just another place for entertaining, but for some relaxation. Everyone needs some R&R. &R. So whether you are hanging out on the couch, watching some TV on your flat screen, or gathering around the fireplace, you have a place to do your thing, but that's not the best part. What I love most about this space is that when you open the double French doors, you have a natural sea breeze coming right from the outside, and it leads you right out into your entertaining space outdoors. Whether you are living here as a primary residence, a vacation rental, or even something that you'll use as an Airbnb, one thing that you could truly never get enough of is more outdoor oasis spaces like this one that you could really use for entertaining or just relaxation. And what really helps this is not only the water fountain that's mounted onto the wall, but what really sets it over the top is the sea breeze that comes from the Pacific Ocean about two blocks away. So when we go up to the second level, this is where we'll find all of our bedrooms. In addition to the entrance to the rooftop deck, let's start off with the primary bedroom. Let's go. Now, as we made it all the way through the hallway, you notice the natural light was flowing all the way through. And when we come through the primary bedroom, the first thing that you'll find is that the space is expansive. Now, perfect for a king size bed like the one that you see here. And when you move over to this side of the bedroom, we'll pass by the gas fireplace 
and you'll find another focal point in the bedroom, which is the seating area, which is perfect to act as a retreat at the end of the day for unwinding. Now, this is something that we mentioned before, but this is also another great feature. When you look through the double French doors, you'll also notice a beautiful breeze coming through here. A perfect place to get situated, to read a book, to exercise, or just catch some fresh air right outside the balcony. So in our master ensuite bathroom, first thing that we'll find is a double vanity with some classic white tile with some black outlining. On this side, we'll find a classic sinking tub. Uh, nice to have this right next to what we'll find over here, which is our standing shower, all surrounded by natural light, which you'll see from the skylight right above you. And then when we back up over here, this is probably the, my favorite part of the bathroom, maybe even the master bedroom. You have closet space galore. This is a walk-in closet that's truly designed for a fashion aficionado. Uh, if you got style, if you got shoes, this is the closet for you. Now, as we leave the primary bedroom and we walk back down the hallway, the first thing that you'll notice on my right-hand side is a really functional use of storage in the hallway space. In addition to that, you'll find that it's storing some really beautiful pieces of artwork. As we come to the left-hand side, you'll find something that you need in every home, ample closet space, all their linens, their towels, everything that you need living in a beach community. Uh, this is perfect for the type of space that we're in. Now, as we come back down this beautiful, gorgeous hallway, on my left-hand side, something that you'll need is a laundry room with ample space, it's oversized, plenty of space for sorting your laundry, and then you have your washer dryer here, high-tech, LG, perfect. Now, other side of the hallway too, if we come over here, this is a space being utilized as a bedroom, could be an office, could be anything else that you need, whether it's a exercise room, but this has beautiful artwork and nice pops of color. As we come back down over here to my left-hand side, another bathroom, tile on the floor, beautiful vanity, nice lights, natural lighting, everything that you want for a bathroom. Now, we'll come over here to my left-hand side. You'll find that this is a room being utilized as an office. Could be a guest room, could be a studio, but why I love it for a studio or an office is that you have access to your French doors like we've seen before. Perfect sea breeze and a place to recharge right on the balcony just where you need it. And some beautiful artwork here that's been tastefully done. Now, for our final room on the second level, we come back over here. First thing that you'll find, another beautiful room with access to two windows that bring in more natural light, some recessed lighting and a ceiling fan and tastefully designed. And now we saved the best for last. Let's go check out the rooftop deck. Let's go. And just when you don't think that you had any more entertaining spaces left, we have one more. This is where you bring everyone for the gatherings, the parties, the good times on our rooftop deck. This is what you pay for. You have your grill over here that's perfect for outdoor dining. And then you have a really unique feature where you have two dual kind of entertaining spaces up here. Um, you can eat over here, you can hang out over here, you can do all the above. What I love is that in addition to the privacy that you have on one side, you have a perfect view of just the whole city right behind you. This is as good as it gets. The sun's shining, uh, the, the wind is blowing, and this is the good life that we want to pay for. And here in the garage, first thing you'll notice are the ultra high ceilings at about 11 feet. And for those of you who consider yourselves to be DIY enthusiasts, a perfect workbench for a handyman. Thank you so much for joining us on our home tour here in Naples, Long Beach. Now, if it wasn't already abundantly clear, Naples is where you want to be. Between the community and the lifestyle to get, that you get by being here, I mean, people drive around on golf carts on the island. They have access to the canals. The water is a two minute walk away. It's everything that you want and more. And then on top of that, the value is all here. Between the Olympics coming here in 2028 and almost a billion dollars being invested into the community, everything points back to the fact that this is the place to be. Now, you're probably asking yourself, what is a property like this one worth? And after everything that we've seen today, I think it all makes sense that a place like this is being listed for two, four, eight, five million dollars. Now there's a lot of value here and I'm gonna show you a little bit more when we drive around here on the golf cart. I'll show you a little bit more what the community has to offer. But if you wanna see more properties like this one, make sure you like and subscribe to Dunk TV and follow our real estate page at Tedros Team. And we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>